How is it going guys? Selene HD here today. We're going to be going over a review on the H100i GTX CPU cooler. Um, as you know, if some of you are subscribed, I did an unboxing video on it and I wanted to uh, really put it to the test before I did any type of review on it. Um, so firstly, we'll just kind of go over the basic specs of it. Uh, here's the box of it here. I already have it installed. Um, if you would like to see what it looks like installed, I have a video for that, which I'll link in the description. So the Hydra Series H100 GTX is essentially an extreme all-in-one uh, cooler for cases with 240 millimeter radiator mounts. Um, now, it comes with two SP120 LPDW fans that provide excellent heat, which you'll need if you're doing some overclocking. One thing that makes this very simple is it's a closed loop design, meaning uh, before you had to wire, your, you had to do your own tubing and things like that. This is a closed loop. It comes pre-filled with the liquid. Um, it's modular, tool-free mounting bracket for faster installation. So it's very simple to install uh, versus setting up your own runs and things like that. So let's talk about the fans. The, they have a custom housing that provides static pressure and air airflow through the radiator. They've got these rubberized corners and a quiet, reliable, advanced hydraulic bearing and PWM support for increased fan control. So if you've got a fan controller, you can increase the fan speed, lower it, adjust it, all that um, with your fan controller. Um, <clears throat> each fan has also has blacked out wires. So something for me, I like my case looking very clean. So you've got those black wires so you can get a real clean look to it. Now, there's a debate. I'm not going to get into it um, about push versus pull uh, for setting it up. Um, I did a few tests with push and pull setup. Um, I got a three degrees difference, three degrees cooler. So really not worth it in my opinion. Um, now that also depends on the CPU you have, uh, the overclock you have, and a few other things. Now let's talk about the radiator. So it's a 240 millimeter radiator. Um, it's a double wide radiator, approximately twice the cooling area of the uh, Hydro series coolers. Now I have the i5-4690K overclocked to about 4.7. Um, before the H100i GTX, I had the Hyper Evo 212, which was a great cooler for the price, um, but my temps were running too high. I was running around 60, almost on 70 under full load, which I wasn't comfortable with. Once I put this in, I'm under full load, and keep in mind with SLI, I'm staying around 40. Um, max, I've seen 45. Very rarely will it go above that, but I'm staying around 40 ambient. I'm sitting around 20 degrees Celsius. So it, it does a hell of a job. Now, the copper mounting plate, as you see here, this comes uh, pre-applied with thermal paste. So you don't have to worry about any thermal paste. Now, if you are installing it, you're gonna wanna clean off the thermal paste off your old processor. To give you an idea of that, you'll you'll want to wipe down the, this is an older processor, but you'll want to wipe down the metal, very light alcohol and, and like a tissue and just clean that off before you remount um, the Corsair H100i. It's also Corsair Link compatible. As you can see, I've got the RGB Void Special Edition headset. So um, you can have the lights and everything all configured together. I'm not too big on the lights and everything, um, but it does have that compatibility, um, which is nice. So if you've got the keyboard, mouse, etc., etc., um, you can have all that together. Um, now, as far as real quickly specifications, the radiator dimensions are 276 millimeters by 125 by 30 millimeters. The fan noise level is 37.7 decibels. So this thing can get loud under full load. However, I keep it balanced and it, it keeps my CPU uh, cool. Um, and, and, the, and the cool thing is, is it within the options um, in the software, you can make different profiles, you can adjust it. Um, and like I said, if you've got a fan controller on your PC, you can use that um, to mess with the noise levels. So let's um, take a look at uh, what uh, Intel and AMD sockets you can use this with. You can use it with the 1150, um, 1151, 55, 56, uh, 1366, 2011, 2011 through three. And as far as AMD, FM1, FM2, AM2, AM3. So yeah, um, like I said, I absolutely love it. Um, it has allowed me to overclock my, my CPU uh, a bit further um, and, and keep those safe temps. So I, I highly recommend it. Um, I've had no problems with it. Um, 
very easy to install if, if you need help with any installations there's a lot of good videos out there on how to install it uh, the final verdict i would give this a i'd say a 7.5 out of 10 if not an 8 so as always guys thank you so much for watching if you guys got any questions any comments any things like that any tests you want me to try to do just leave a comment down below you guys know i respond right away and yeah i'll probably do some more videos on uh, uh, dis different push-pull methods as well. See see um, what kind of results we get. Uh, but yeah. Alright guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.